Hey everyone, Shannon here. If you use Adobe Premiere to edit your videos, the export process is the final stage and it should be an exciting experience. You're finally done with that video project. And it shouldn't be one that looks like this. especially if you're working on a larger video or film project. That's why it's best practice to use Adobe Media Encoder, which is an additional app available in Adobe's Creative Cloud Suite. You simply install it like any other Adobe app, and it will be available for your Premiere project as well as After Effects. Adobe Media Encoder is super powerful for creating proxies to make your editing faster and to render multiple versions of a project. If you're a beginner, here are three reasons why I always use and why you should always go for Adobe Media Encoder to export your videos. So let's get started. I have a video here all ready to go and export. Reason number one for using Adobe Media Encoder is a live preview. When you use the native export tool in Premiere, you're just looking at a progress bar. You aren't really sure what part of your video is rendered and where the render is taking place in the video. So we want a live preview of our video actually rendering. If we use Adobe Media Encoder by going to File, Export, Media, or Control M, Command M on a Mac, this will bring up the export settings uh, that we usually see and how we get to use Adobe Media Encoder. We do this by clicking on Q. Uh, it's not really uh, intuitive, I guess, to click on Q. You, you're looking for Adobe Media Encoder uh, to open, but it is Q. We're actually queuing up the media because what we can do is we can export a lot of different videos in a lot of different formats in AME. We can choose our format and preset settings and our status says ready. When you click on the green play button, we can see an actual live preview of the video rendering and an elapsed time. Reason number two, I like to use Adobe Media Encoder is multiple exports. So let's say you have a client who wants the same video exported as an H.264 MP4 file, a QuickTime file and an MP3. Wow. So instead of just sitting there re-exporting re in Premiere and just waiting for it, you can do it all at the same time and actually see what's going on. So we can do this by right clicking on our video and duplicating the video. And we simply change the format by clicking the drop down arrow. I have my H.264. I'm going to choose QuickTime. And the last one will be an MP3. So we start the queue and our videos are exporting and we could see exactly which one it's working on with the progress bars above. And so when we look at our output files, we see that we do have an MP4 file, a QuickTime file, and an MP3 file. So that worked and it was super easy uh, and quick and you could see exactly what's going on and you can deliver them in a timely manner to your client because in this industry, time is, <laughs> time is definitely money. All right, which leads us to the last reason. Uh, it's not really the last reason, but a main reason why I use Adobe Media Encoder. It's number three. It's a media converter. So AMI is essentially a built-in media converter that is safe and powerful. You can use it on its own, so you don't necessarily have to open Premiere or After Effects, which is really, really cool. So for example, let's say I have an MP4 video file that I wanted to export the sound from, and I can drag and drop that video in there. I change the format to MP3, and I export it. So instead of using those scary virus malware filled websites to convert your media, trust me, I've, I've learned my lesson. Many computers have, you know, bad because I have used terrible, terrible websites to uh, convert MP4s and MP3s. If you liked this video, please be sure to like or comment. Let me know what other tutorials you'd like to see. And if you haven't yet, hit subscribe and be notified when I release new tutorials. Thanks for watching.